So now that we have explored the three different types of extrema, we ask ourselves, how do we find these extrema? Or how do we find these critical points in three dimensions? So we want to consider some ordered pair AB on the surface of our function f of x, y in R3. And we say that this ordered pair AB is a critical point if one of two things occurs. So case one, we say that the point is a critical point if the partial derivative of the surface with respect to x at this point AB is equal to zero and the partial derivative with respect to y at this ordered pair AB is also equal to zero. And again, this is reminiscent of setting that first derivative equal to zero in R2. We also say that this point is a critical point if the partial derivative with respect to x and or the partial derivative with respect to y does not exist at the point AB. Again, also reminiscent, right? These conditions are still the same transitioning from R2 to R3. We're just adding that extra variable. So now that we have the conditions for a critical point, we ask ourselves, how do we find these? So the following is a little bit of strategy to help you find the critical points of a multivariable function. So step one, we want to compute and simplify the partial derivatives, the first order partial derivatives. So compute and simplify the first order partial derivatives. So partial derivative with respect to x and the partial derivative with respect to y. <clears throat> and then step two, we want to solve the system of equations created by setting both partial derivatives equal to zero. So we solve the system of equations defined by setting the first partial derivative with respect to x equal to zero and the partial derivative with respect to y equal to zero. And in this case, you're solving for the ordered pair x, y. So I do want you to exercise a little caution as you go through this. You wanna make a note that a critical point, and I'll abbreviate CP, a critical point does not guarantee an extrema. This test solving the system of equations created by the partial derivatives set equal to zero simply provides potential extrema. Again, just like we see in R2. Right, so just because you find a critical point by solving the system of equations created by the partial derivatives does not mean that point is a critical point. We have to apply a second derivative test to verify if these points are critical points. Again, just like we see in R2.